Don't waste money on a hire car. I'm a contractor but work for a government department. Work sometimes requires us to travel. Which requires us to draft an itinerary with a travel budget before a senior manager signs off on it. I place a budget in front of the manager for a 7-day trip. Manager. What's this? You are getting a hire car? We are not paying for a hire car. Quote. Me. But. Manager. I'm going to stop you right there. We've been told to cut spending. This means no hire car for you. Context. I'm working on a project worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Me. Okay then. No worries boss. Quote. The hire car would have been on a corporate rate. $70 per day by 7 days. My the department's own rules. I was not allowed to carry confidential documentation on public transports I legally had to use. Taxis. Which is what I did. Liberally. Between the airport. To my hotel and the half dozen or so sites I had to visit. It ended up costing well over 10x what it would have cost to just give me a hire car. I once had a manager tell me the same thing. Just take cabs on a trip. I penciled out the estimated cost versus a rental car and showed them it was similar to what op came up with, between trip from airport, to client sites and back daily, then to dinner. Manager looked at that and said get a rental. When I came back from overseas on Air Force orders, with Air Force provided transport at 2 a.m. 0200 hours. There was no transport for me from the airport to the base. No one answered their phone. $212 taxi ride. I got my ass chewed only once. Until they realized they caused it. This is the type of waste that made me hate government work. When traveling for the government. All expenses for the travel had to be approved before purchase. But they took so long to approve anything the prices would change which required another approval. Me. The flight is $220. Two days later. Gov. Your flight is approved. Me. Well. Now it's $245. Two days later. Gov. Your flight is approved. Me. Now it's $270. Wait through the weekend. Plus their approval time. Four days later. Gov. Your flight is approved. But try to find something cheaper. Me. I did last week. The flight is filling up so the prices go up. And now it's $330. Dot and if I'm lucky. I get the flight I want. But a few times I've had to pick a different flight that includes a massive layover because it's. $40 cheaper, but still more expensive than the original flight I found. I have to know, what did your manager say when they was the paperwork? Edit. Saw not was. Lol, hope you showed your boss, the difference. Corporate bean counters, always ready to spend a dollar to save a penny. Hope you got that in writing to cover your ass. I hate working for someone who refuses to listen to people because they're in charge. Yes. You're my manager. That means you're supposed to remove roadblocks. Not become one. Had a similar experience. I worked for 9 months on a job 300 kilometers away. It was simpler for me to drive the distance. 3 hours door to door. And I claimed a mileage allowance. Finance rang as asked. I explained it actually took me less time than driving to the office. Getting a cab to the AP. Waiting around for the flight. Which was only a 40 minute flight. Getting a cab to the job as well as cabs each day from the job to the hotel and back each day. This also had all the costs embedded. They figured it out and we agreed that they would pay me the equivalent. The car gets used much more efficiently in a taxi than in a rental. So good job thumbs up. Had the same. Was refused a hire car to go on a training course. Would have cost us 30 pounds. 
had a 90 pounds mileage claim for using my own car. Two major pet peeves with budget decision makers. Point one, they don't do the math too. They cut line items based on feelings rather than impact. Sounds better to me than driving. Trying to find a park. Weird road rules. Can nap. And costing the company money. Very nicely done. Plus you didn't have the hassle of having to drive anywhere. Win-win for all apart from the bean counters. So you spent $700 a day on taxis? No one ever thinks of the taxi costs. My last trip for a conference. I was stuck in a hotel halfway across the city from the hotel next to the conference center. Because it was slightly cheaper. Of course. The taxi costs more than wipe out the savings. While also wasting a lot more of my time waiting for the taxis. And spending time in rush hour traffic. I guess it must be UK terminology but I would have thought that a taxi was a form of hire car. Well done corporate. You have earned the achievement. Tripping over pounds for pennies. Unlock requirement. Play yourself by forcing an employee to pick a more expensive option. I don't get rentals cause I don't get paid to be a driver. I'm tired from the flight and I don't want to deal with traffic in a city I don't know. That's extra work yo. Absolutely fantastic. What was the aftermath? Edit never mind. I found it. No worries about the cost the government just prints what it needs. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.